All right, welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast. I'm your host, Liam McCallion, also known as the Stats Guy. No Liam Mullally. I hope he's alive in Europe somewhere, but we've got Good. Tom Clark. Uh, he's back yes. in, back up from the live stream. He's been on. Absolute cricket nerd. So we, we need some more uh, cricket energy on this. How are you going, Tom? Thanks for coming on. <laughs> I'm very well. Cricket nerd. I'm, yeah. I think Nuffy's probably Nuffy, the maybe as well. I'm a Nuffy as well. Uh, yeah. Look, thanks for having me, guys. Super keen to get into the T20 World Cup. Been some yep. good games to start. Yeah, so uh, ready to unpack. Awesome. Tom, Tom from Cricket Today, actually. Yeah, Tom, Tom from Clark. Cricket Today, Tom from Punters, Tom from anything you wanted to be. Uh, Marcus Barzano, also here, as yep. always. I'm not as excited for him to be on, but he's here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's There's been some good games to get us on the way, and hopefully that trend continues. Yeah, yeah. So it's T20 World Cup time. Started over the weekend in Dallas, the home of cricket, uh, they call oh, it over there. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely awesome. In Texas, we're going to cover the first four games, going to have a bit of a yeah, nah. We love doing yeah, nahs on our yep. today podcast. Some news, so game wraps and all. Then we're going to do looking at our tipping competition that we will probably put out on the socials at, at mm. some point, but we'll have to uh, worry about that <laughs> for a few other reasons. Uh, and then, yeah, so let's get right into the news. Guys. Before we start, though, be sure to check this podcast out on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Make sure you subscribe on the YouTube. Are we doing Road to a 1000 still, Marcus? Yeah, we're doing good. I think uh, our Group B preview got, got right, yeah. like almost 4K. Okay, awesome. Uh, yeah, we yeah. fit 600, so... Yeah, Road to, one, road to 1000, we'll say. Good start we're, to the World Cup. Yeah, nice. And then Road to, I think it's about... 20,000 on TikTok. We're trying to get little miles. We've hit 20. Oh, we've hit 20 now. Yep. Really? Yep. Jeez. All right. I wrote to 30. I wrote to 50. Why not? <laughs> Why not? All right. Let's go. Let's start with the news, lads. I just put this one in there for a laugh. Do Warner and Mitch Marsh play for Uganda now? That was very funny. Did that you was, see the photos of that? They look so awkward. On <laughs> you see in the photos with a whole Ugandan team and then like Mitch Marsh or David Warner just standing in the middle just like, yeah. I don't know. It was pretty cool. They saw him in the uh, in the lobby or something, and just the team's getting around. I Why think not? When you're like Australia, some of the best teams were India. They're like the celebrities, even though they're in the same tournament. I don't know how you, you saw that. Tom, yeah, just- <laughs> exactly right. It was yeah. a bit unusual. Like I love the Uganda kit because it's so yeah. like the Australian. Yeah, kit. yeah, yeah. That's what Mitch Marsh I think said. You stole the Aussies uh, yellow because I said it on our one. Yep. I'd yeah. rather the gold or the yellow for our kit. But what do you think? on our, our kit, Tom? Have you seen it? Like I it's just the main green. Though. Yeah, it's just a little bit boring. Mm. I, I like a bit of flamboyancy. Yeah. It's a yeah. 2020, you know. Yeah. It's, it's all about having a yeah. bit of fun. and bit of and, entertainment. Yeah, a bit of entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Cricket. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit dull for me. But, you know, as you said, Liam, I'd love to see the gold back. Yeah, I, mm. I think because you got South Africa wearing the gold, you got Uganda wearing the gold, and then, I don't know if Australia. South Africa's clean. Surely we get priority being just winning everything. So, I don't know. <laughs> they, they, didn't, they didn't put the uh, pen to paper for that one. Uh, next one in the news, I just put in here because it's funny and we like talking about Pakistan players. They did this whole photo shoot with cowboy hats, the Pakistan team. That was very weird. Why? I don't know if you guys saw that on the well, socials. I haven't seen this. I, I also this. missed that, oh. but I'm very intrigued to have a look. Just you can picture it in your mind, just uh, a bit of Bubba uh, a bit of, uh, what was it, Amir, a few of the other players just randomly wearing cowboy hats doing a photo shoot. Very strange. I don't know who ticked that off for uh, the Pakistan team, but <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully they back it up with their play because that was a very weird photo shoot on the uh, World Cup socials if you want to check that one out. Oh, yeah. I, can't, I can't find it. Oh, that's anyway, right. So we can have a look after this. We'll have a look after. Just picture it in your head, just all the boys wearing the cowboy hats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with uh, cow- Yeah, they were yeah, trying to Barbara's sing American songs. sexy in that cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah, he absolutely would. All right, Mark, because you've put in a yeah, nah. We I like have. to start our shows with a yeah, nah. Uh, even on football today, AFL today, we have some yeah, nahs. What do you got for us? I've got, is, is cricket dying? It's a bit of a dark one to start oh, the 2021 oh, oh, Cup. Mate, what are you doing? It's very dark. This is the first this show. Is, are you right? This, is, this <laughs> is the franchise that's supposed to be bringing cricket back into its heyday, like oh, putting it number one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no one was at West Indies first. I know at Papua New Guinea, but the, the tournament was played in the West Indies. Yeah. West oh. Indians love their cricket. The game was scheduled at 10 a.m., which is a weird time. That's a, what day of the week? Local was? time. It was on the weekend, wasn't it? Yeah. Look, I, I I wouldn't say dying, mate. I mean, Jesus, right, the first take game out the, tournament. Yeah, take out the word dying because you've literally got seats for $75. That's a joke, I think. Like, yeah. I know that it's a World yeah. Cup and overseas, like uh, I went to the one in England. You can you can probably charge that because they're going to sell out and they're just a cricketing sort yeah. of nation. West Indies have been up and down. Don't charge 75 bucks. Charge 20 or 30 bucks and they'd fill the stadium. So. Oh, especially in, in Barbados yeah. as well. Yeah. Even for a, a group a group game, that West Indies versus PNG, who's paying seventy five bucks? I wouldn't pay seventy five dollars for that. I don't know I, about you guys, but I think we just need to wait and see. I think it's yeah. very <laughs> yeah. early call. But I mean, mm. it, it's a good point. It, it is a, a home series for the West Indies. Yeah. But yeah, I think we'll just sit tight, and wait yeah. and see. Well, mm. maybe the next couple of games. I think it will build into it a little bit more. I think so. Once we hit super eights and mm. the bigger nations clash off against each other, yeah. we'll see some some more people in yeah. the crowds. But yeah, no, I'm new rule. You can't mention cricket dying on this, on this oh, podcast yeah. ever again. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> it's just a yeah, no. I'm, no, that's right. I'm not saying it so is. I think we're all, are we all nah on that one? I'm, I'm nah. I, I love cricket. Because yeah. I, I think test cricket is still the pinnacle of cricket. Yeah, but fair. I don't know. It was a little bit concerning that 
the Home crowds, nation yeah. had no crowd. No, nah, fair game. enough. Fair enough. We'll see. Yeah, we'll have, we'll, we can have a look at the West Indies next crowd and see if they uh, build for that one. All right, game wraps. First one, as I said, the home of cricket, Dallas, Texas. I just, I couldn't believe I was sitting on my couch watching the U.S. national anthem. Yeah. Fan chant, USA, <laughs> USA. Yeah, you, you messaged me that actually on the oh, weekend. You it like, just felt weird. I can't believe this. No, I can't believe it. So it was Canada versus the USA. Canada started off 194 for five. Their best performance, I think, ever against USA. They had some build-up uh, matches where they got absolutely smashed, mm. smashed, but they were awesome with the bat. Uh, I don't know if what you guys saw from this one. Yeah, uh, this, who, who this, this Drake Kendrick rivalry is, <laughs> is actually heated <laughs> in, <laughs> in between Canada and USA. Not only in cricketing terms as well. I did not um, think you were going to go down. And I don't know to get people hyped up for the game of cricket in America. This was a great game. Yeah, uh, that was awesome. For, yeah. For, to be a part of. Yeah. And how good was Aaron Jones? Aaron Jones, uh, slog of the weekend. I think we're going to just easily give that him the award for that one. 94 or 40. He hit, I think I said three balls out of the stadium, but I might have missed a couple. They were trying to, they lost a couple of balls. There was just balls flying everywhere. Uh, yeah, you saw that innings, Tom. Aaron, Aaron Jones, I did. awesome. He went absolutely bonkers. Didn't <laughs> yeah. it? it was great to watch. And as you said, I mean, what a pinnacle for starting the T20 World Cup. Yeah. With US versus Canada. And it was a great game. For me, the Daly Wall at the top. Yeah. He was awesome. Yeah. Very right controlled there. innings. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Went pretty hard when he had to, but also just knocked it around. Mm. Uh, Corey Anderson bowling absolute doomies around the <laughs> wicket. <laughs> Left arm doomies. But, he, you know, he, he got a wicket first ball. And um, Nicholas yeah. Curtin from Canada, yep. he actually impressed me. I reckon he's going to ha have an innings where he's going to go bonkers. Breakout, breakout sort of player. I think so. Yeah, he's yeah. from Barbados he and he Ooh. has a Canadian mother. So I do think that uh, he, he's going to have a really big innings in the tournament, hopefully sooner rather than later for Canada. Yeah, Keep yeah. him in the hunt. The Maple um, Leafers, they call themselves the, with the oh, shopping that, kit. That, that, like, that kit <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Oh, the weird horrendous. Color, I don't know. That, yeah. It wasn't too bad, but... Uh, yeah, there we go. Curtin has a bit of a standout play. I don't mind that. They mm. were struggling two for 42 at the start. And then Aaron Jones just came in 94 of 40. Mm. Uh, that could be one of the best things. Uh, yeah, I saw that like Canada posted 194 and then I checked in and, and America were one for four off the yeah. first over. And I'm like, they've already lost the wicket. This is going to be tough. Yeah, he said it was, good. It was done. Yeah. But in came Air Jordan. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> he's just, Jordan. That's a new nickname for me. <laughs> I like it. Very nice. Uh, yeah, so they're awesome. Uh, USA get the first win on the board. Canada just, they don't know how to beat them. They've lost, I think, five in a row now against the USA. They had four warm up games. Just, they just can't get over the line against uh, yeah. against USA. But they, they should be pretty happy with that performance because I think that so, was yeah. awesome. That's for their first ever World Cup yeah. match. So pretty good. All right. We already talked a little bit about the disappointing crowd, but it was an interesting match. PNG versus the West Indies in Guyana. Home game, obviously, for the West Indies in their tournament. You got PNG, not a good score, but they were okay with the ball. 136 for eight. Then you got the West Indies, 137 for five off 19. So they actually, mm. when, I, when I saw 136 PNG made, I thought, no way that uh, this is going to go longer than like 10 overs, 12 overs. <laughs> it's gone 19 overs, lads. What's going yeah, on? Especially, well, especially after the Windies hit, what, 240 against Australia? Yeah, yeah no, 250 yeah. something. In 50, the warm-up match? Five, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I don't know, sort of a controlled innings, I guess, if you call it that. Mm. I don't know, the crowd sort of matched the game. Oh, um, it was, was kind of dead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you time. know, it was a sort of a tactical battle, um, mm. which is interesting to see in a 2020 format. Yeah, yeah. You saw uh, our bow, you didn't mind, Tom? Like yeah. You said before, I was talking to you. Say, say bow. I think he came in at number three or at the top. He, uh, he was really good to watch. Again, it was a little bit slow innings, mm. but... Uh, he controlled it very well and played some really nice shots. He's actually yeah, yeah. quite good on the eye yeah, to watch. Yeah. Uh, some shots over cover and, and through extra cover, really good uh, to watch. And uh, again, I'm pretty interested to see him throughout yeah. the tournament. I think if he can just kind of knock it around and be a bit of an anchor for them, yep. uh, for PNG, they you know, score. they might get a win or two. Yeah, um, yeah. Hossein as well. Uh, the spinner. He's awesome, yeah. Well, yeah. spinner, in-swinger. In, yeah, he just <laughs> lost arms. Yeah, yeah. His left arm, <laughs> like, he, his in-swinger is uh, deadly. Yeah. And, and he knocked over uh, Siaka, which was an absolute beauty as yeah, well. Yeah. And then, you know, Roston Chase, getting it done. Yeah, Roston yeah, Chase, he, he was pretty good. So you got uh, Bow for PNG, mate, 50 off 43. Chase, what did he end up on? Was it 40? 42 something? off 27. Yeah, which is yeah. which is what you need. Everyone was sort of struggling with that pitch as well. Obviously, PNG are a much uh, lower ranked team than West Indies. But he had to get he, he needed that innings because they only got it done in the 90th over, which surprised me. But look, yeah. although they still have Dre Russ coming in at seven. I know, is, that is a yeah, good like, batting line. That like, it's, it's so exciting. And you've got Nicholas Perrin who smashed the Aussies around. Yep. Um, he wasn't great, but he was sort of steady with his 27 off, yep. off basically a runner ball. Yep. So Look, uh, probably not the result the Windies sort of wanted to make, no. not like a statement make, making sort of win in their first mm -hmm. game on the home deck, but a win's a win. Yeah, they'll, they'll take it. They just need to get over the line. I think, yeah, they need to build from that though because you, you should be making 136. I, the pitch wasn't as bad as some of the other ones in New York, whereas 
it's their home sort of ground. It's their home ground. They should be doing a little bit better than that. Yep. So I was a bit surprised that it got that close. So awesome effort by PNG bowlers. I actually wrote in there the captain of PNG, Asad Valor, two for two. Sorry, mm -hmm. not two for two. That would be pretty good. <laughs> that would be an awesome effort. Two for 28 with his offies. So he, he's another one to watch. So Bow and Valor. There's just a few guys, as Tom mentioned, that you can watch from different teams that are going to be very exciting. Yeah, that's the best thing about this tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's going to be, especially in T20, there's guys that can yeah, make, make quick runs, get a few wickets, and it's going to be mm -hmm. pretty exciting. All let's, right. get, let's get to the game of the, the game tournament, of the tournament so, far. <laughs> so far. I'd say I didn't think I'd be saying this. Aman versus Namibia. You've got uh, some very low scores, 109 each. Mm. And then it goes to a super over, lads. We've had our first super over in the first three <laughs> games. I absolutely love super overs. I think yeah. I was I was always predicting super overs in the big bash and they never happened. But <laughs> we got a super over finally. What happened here, lads? That is unbelievable. That's nuts. Ruben Trumpelman. Yeah, he looked well. Well. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. He, he looked brilliant. Yeah. I'm like he's going to be a player to look out for. Yeah. And great name as well. Yeah, Trumpelman. he started. <laughs> he started great. He started. He got two wickets off the first two balls of the game. Nuts, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. And he was bowling sanctuary crushes, just like they were <laughs> exactly. awesome. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Two, two absolutely plum LBs to start yeah, the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a uh, good left arm in swing bowler. Yeah. Um, has taken wickets before at, at a T20 World Cup. He took uh, some wickets in the previous one as well, but mm. he just started the game up. And I think uh, it kind of was the flow of the game after that. It was a bit of a dogfight from both it teams. It was, yeah. yeah. Um, it was pretty slow, but David Weiss. Yeah, uh, Weiss, uh, he, he's awesome. So he uh, played for South Africa back in the day a fair bit, so he's very experienced on the, on the uh, international stage. He got the man of the match. So he, I, actually, before we talk about Wiesa, the last over I'll talk about before we get to the super over because Wiesa dominated in the super over. You've got the last over, I don't know if you guys saw, uh, Namibia, they needed five runs. That's all they needed, five runs. So they choked that big time and only got four. Then on the very last ball, the keeper misses the stumping, which would have guaranteed Aman the win. And then they've gone and lost it in the super over. So Oof. both teams are just trying to outchoke each other. No one really wanted to win, <laughs> no one really wanted to win this in the last over. But yeah, we saw three for 28. Uh, it was awesome. Just, he had so much energy. He's got the long locks now. He looks like a completely different man. Mm. I looked him up uh, a bit older at 39. He's still dominating. Then he had nine not out with the bat. Then he's coming into the super over one for 10 and then 13 or four. So that, that yeah, was an awesome ridiculous. effort, isn't it? 21 off the super over yeah. for Namibia is, How good is, that? is ridiculous. Yeah, you got uh, even uh, Erasmus was hitting some crazy shots. He hit one was a wide uh, Yorker outside off and he's lap sweeped it for six. The other, oh, sorry, deep four, I think it was on the other side. Awesome effort. So yeah, there, there was crazy. some of the shots I, I saw uh, an Amman batsman as well just play that similar sort of shot yep. where he's no looked outside off and he's he sort of whipped it towards like deep square yeah, yeah. For, for a boundary Can you and pull that one off Tom that's how, that's how God no those days are gone <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to get Tom down for the next net session <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we should do a net session, session. Yeah, yeah. we'll get a yeah, bowling machine going I reckon, be good fun. I reckon Namibia might surprise a few in yeah. the tournament yeah. I think yeah. like Trumperman yeah exactly yeah. Like, and like look Weiss has played a lot of cricket he's been around for a long time yeah, yeah. he might actually drag him for, to a few wins off his own, you know, bowling and batting. Yeah, yeah. So and leadership as well. So I actually think uh, Namibia might Ooh, might be a sneaky next. chance they of could, winning. They could be Namibia, Scotland. Scotland. Uh, at the start of the tournament, I think we we, we said Scotland would beat Namibia, but mm. yeah. they could easily beat Scotland. Yeah. Australia, they, mm. yeah, they got that's they're in Australia's group with Australia and England, so won't progress, you know, they won't they won't like if they make a game out of like one of those two. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's, cool. that's great progress. I just them. think it'd be a watch. Yeah, for them. well, last T yeah, Twenty World Cup, yeah. it, the groups were a bit different, but they did make it out of the group stage. So. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool if they do that again. And they are one to watch. I'm yeah, we've talked about up Trumpelman a lot, but great name. Just bowl and heat. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got the locks as well. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Who's got the best hair? Him or even Weiser has the long locks. Who's Probably got the best Trump. hair in the tournament? Ooh, I'm, trying to think I'm, I'm not the sure. Head. Off the top of my head. I was gonna, gonna say Nandre Berg is not playing. He usually, <laughs> usually spray paint. I know he's got the best eyebrows. Who? Oh, Barbara's Barbara's eyebrows. Eye, <laughs> you mean eyebrows? Eyebrows. I don't know about eyebrows. I know, but if you want to watch those, you want to watch the highlights of that game. I very much recommend it. But just don't watch it with. Any kids around? Because there, it was a bit of a choke. <laughs> it was a bit of a choking hazard. So. Oh, I was like, "What uh, are you talking about?" <laughs> oh my god! Oh, let's move to Sri Lanka. <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, well, well done. Great, great uh, segue, as Lou would say. Well uh, Sri Lanka, <laughs> Sri Lanka, South Africa. I thought this was going to be one of the matches of the tournament so far. What one the hell happened here? What the hell happened here? Sri Lanka bowled out for seventy-seven. You've got the Adelaide drop-in pitches in Nassau County in uh, New York, yeah. so that maybe might play a factor. South Africa four for eighty off their sixteen point two. Actually got a lot closer than it should have. They only made it in 16.2 overs, that's 77. Uh, yeah, what happened in this one? Sri Lanka, well, we know why Lee is on holiday because he's just gone <laughs> yeah. into hiding because he said Sri Lanka would top this group. I know, he, Olivia behind the camera, uh, social girl Olivia tipped Sri Lanka on your call, Leo. So if you're watching this, you're a dog. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, what is going on with that? Yeah. I don't know. They were, both teams were unconvincing. I, I know it was. it looked like a bit of a tough wicket. Um, yeah. 
so obviously the game was on at like 12.30 yep. Australian time in the morning. Yep. Um, bit of a tough tough watch for us. So I'll, I've looked over the highlights this <laughs> yeah. morning. And um, look, I know it did look like a tough wicket, but I think there were a lot of those wickets, particularly for Sri Lanka, Average just shots. threw away. Mm, yeah. um, I, I don't know. I was really unconvincing. More towards South Africa. I sort of expect didn't expect Sri Lanka to do this bad. But to make 77 in a World Cup, yeah, that's embarrassing. Pull your head in. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Namibia would put up a stronger fight than that. Nah, they probably not. Maybe not but Namibia would beat Sri Lanka if they played against each other, right? Now. <laughs> I don't know about that. But I'm, I'm doing I'm All right, it. maybe. Chop them in Fifa. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Put uh, them in the same group. Yeah, what did you say, Tom? How good was it watching someone bowl rockets? Though? Yeah. Nokia. Nokia. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. oh. I mean, four for seven or four overs. I can't remember better figures than that. No, that's, that's in my head. Even in just T20 comps around the world, that's the best figures in a long time. Yeah, exactly. that's, that's the equivalent of like eight for. 30 in test match crew. <laughs> exactly yeah, it, right. it is, yeah. yeah. No, and is. like, you know, he's bowling quick. He topped 150, which was great oh, did to he? watch. I didn't and, even see that. Oh. Uh, you know, I, I, no, I think don't think anyone internationally would want to face Nokia on a bit of a dodgy wicket. No, no. Oh, yeah. Big not... square boundaries as well. Hard to get him away. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, it was great watching him. And um, obviously Maharaj bowled pretty well as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, to, the to bowlers. Fun. Bowlers are really good. Like you said, actually, mm. Tom, you got the square boundary. Did you say that they're a bit they're a bit longer at that Nassau County ground? Yeah, yeah, it's a big, big square boundary. Mm. So uh a few of the Sri Lankan batsmen got caught on the fence. They did, um, yeah, yeah. So uh, I think just adapting to the conditions, mm. probably going forward, a lot of the other teams will try hit straight. Yep. And the bowlers alternatively will try banging into the pitch, make the teams hit it square. But as you said, Sri Lanka, uh, sorry, South Africa, they didn't really dominate no. with the bat. No, they no. they did what they had to do, but uh, I don't think it's panic signs yet for Sri Lanka. No, I think we'll find out more on some of the other pitches maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. But uh, I mean, you know, kudos to South Africa. They were clinical with the ball and then just got it done with the mm. bat. Yep. Positive signs for Sri Lanka though. I thought uh, Hasaranga, he bowled well. He's always good in these tournaments. I think he led He's the- He's second, second best 2020 bowler in the yep. world. He's uh, led a couple of tournaments in the last five years, four wickets. So he's mm. awesome, isn't he? And yeah. um, I think, I thought despite- <clears throat> Only like going out a run a ball. I thought Angelo Matthews as well was was pretty good with the bat. Well, Tom has some uh, sure views like on old Angelo Matthews that uh, he needs to he needs to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he's been at look, just pass on the bat. <laughs> he, he's been around for a long time. Thirty seven. Yeah, he's thirty seven. Good yeah. cricketer, but you know, in, in the previous World Cup, he, he batted so slowly. He yeah. actually batted well, them out of a handful of games. Well, if he does mm. that run a ball, which is okay on this sort of pitch, but we'll see on the other pitches if he can. He needs to up that. He needs to get yeah. at least 120, 130 strike rate rather than that 100 strike rate. The game's yeah. evolved. I mean, yeah. look at the IPL. Yeah. The scores pretty much, if you didn't make 200, you didn't win yeah, a lot yeah, of the time. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And again, the slow wickets, I think, you know, 200 would be a good score, but still, Angelo, get, yeah. a, get a move on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Good, good call, Tom. Fair enough. Uh, he's getting the big calls in first episode. Yeah. I like it. I like it. All right. Tipping results so far. We've all tipped the same. It's been pretty uh, pretty easy tipping so far. I'd say. Yep. We've all got four. Olivia behind the camera three because of Leo. That Leo uh, <laughs> talked up Sri Lanka. Also, uh, my mate Zach Margariti, he's in, he's in the tipping comp as well. And he's uh, he, he, tips, was... he tips Sri Lanka as well. I don't know if he heard Leo's talk on the podcast as well. I think, I, or did he tip a man as well? I think he's on like oh, one. Oh, that, oh, I no, think he's on one. What are you doing, Bugs? What is yeah, what's if, going I, on if I try, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that, that's no good. I think he might have tipped a man. And yeah, anyway, that's no good at all. But we're going all right, four from four. Let's see if we can keep that streak up, lads, and go through some of the matches that are coming up uh, as I get it up here. Sorry. The first one that we're going to talk to is tomorrow, uh, tonight actually, England versus Scotland. Is this a pretty easy one that we're going to tip? Yeah, I know I know what you're going to tip probably. Oh, no, I'm going. Are you going to go to Scotland? I am part, part Scottish and I love love Scotland. <laughs> I'm going for them in the Euros. I'll definitely be supporting them over England in this competition, but oh, I think, I think, it, I think it's straightforward. Yeah, England. Yeah. I, England have definitely have the chance of even going all the way, let alone just win this game. So mm. England for me comfortably. Yep. Same yeah. Same with you, Tom. I tend to agree. I mean... England, they have some outstanding players. Joss Butler, yeah. Johnny Bairstow, Harry Brook. I'm excited to see Joffre Archer back, actually. Likewise. Be, yeah, yeah, because we, yeah. as you said, Tom, about the uh, quick bowlers, guys that can bowl close to 150 and scare I just, the position. I, he was, um, who was that? Who was, was that Leo's biggest disappointment? Joffre Archer, this tournament? It might, he said, yeah, because he hasn't played enough cricket, which I Because he was I playing, like, that, yeah. he was playing second division yeah. county cricket. Yeah. Which is like, just. Imagine him, you're so. rolling up to second division county cricket. You <laughs> might have not played yeah, that much cricket uh, at that <laughs> sort of level. Face, and you're facing Joffre yeah. Archer <laughs> for 140s. Yeah. The thing about Joffre Archer too, he, he did grow up in the West Indies in he Barbados. Mm. So he knows the conditions well. So cool. he could bowl uh, absolute rockets, but again, you know, he could get injured. He could yeah. get injured. Yeah. That's just what he's done. His he's made a glass. So yeah, yeah he, <laughs> you know, I, I do hope that he plays though because he's exciting to watch. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, England for me. Yeah. Actually, that's a weird question I just thought on top of my head. Out of everyone in the world, who's the least... Uh, bowler you'd want to face. Who's I'd say baller? Nokia or Archer at the moment. Or Mark Wood even. He's a bit chaotic. Yeah. Yeah. I'd
No, no, oh. I'm saying in the tournament, but yeah, all time. Yeah. In the tournament? Yeah. Oh, all time, I'd go like Curly Ambrose. Or yeah. Even, <laughs> even like a Jeff Thompson. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to face those boys. No, I, I don't. I wouldn't want to face yeah, them. But we might. Is that a, is that a thing we're going to do on the bowling machine? Yeah, <laughs> we're going to recreate <laughs> their uh, oh, their pace. Yeah, like, well, I think, think I think the loser worse. of the tipping is going to go on the bowling machine and face like twenty balls at one fifty, <laughs> aren't they? It's really, uh, if I face one, I'm, I, if I survive and face one, I'm pretty happy. With you got to face it, face an overall one fifty five. What would you, what would you, you went from one fifty. Well, we're, we're, we're dropping the balls by a few overs, and there's going to be a bigger consequence. <laughs> oh, I'm already nervous. Bloody hell. Right, what's getting Netherlands and Nepal? Netherlands and Nepal, next one. Uh, this is going to be a little bit closer. Nepal have actually been pretty good in the, the qualifying to this tournament, but Netherlands actually. Not going to be close. Netherlands on paper actually have a decent team. What do you guys reckon? Netherlands. Netherlands. Comfortably. Netherlands for me. Scotty Edwards, uh, yep. good good Melbourne boy. Yep. Uh, keeper batsman, also the captain. He's probably due for a big tournament. Did pretty well at yep. the, one, at the uh, ODI World Cup last year. And uh, Max O'Dowd as well. Yep. I also do like. He's like been really good, yeah. You got uh, Baz Dalit and uh, who's the other one? Logan Van Beek, who were really good at the last yep. T20 World Cup uh, mm. pace bowlers. So I'm excited to watch them as well. Also, yeah, we'll before we move on, yes. very interested to see if Tim Pringle plays. Oh, Pringle. the Pringle. The Pringle. My favorite name in the <laughs> well, No, still, or if you want a sponsorship, Pringle. <laughs> we should get a Pringle can, put his face on it, and I, away we go. That is not a bad idea, actually. If he if he gets at least a wicket, we're, we're going to be talking about him for 20 minutes and with the Pringle can. Love I that. I, I told you, Netherlands will qualify out of Group D, and Ooh. now with Sri Lanka getting absolutely yeah. smacked, net run rate of minus 1.048. You got it. The it's door's done. open for the Dutch. There it is. And I'm telling you, if they can get off to a win here, a good win, yep. they're going to progress. Ooh, okay. That's a big call. I like it. Uh, that's, that's all we have on the show. Uh, last one, India, Ireland. Oh, it would be so funny if Ireland win, but surely they have no chance. They're coming off a, a win against uh, Pakistan, one yep. out of the three games in that series. So yep. they're not too bad. They've improved a lot in the last five or even six years. Ireland, but surely India absolutely romp them, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, India are the favourites for the tournament. Yeah. Uh, clear to see why. They're probably the best team in, in the world. Uh, coming straight off a 2020 <laughs> tournament in their home nation. Yep. They should get the job done yep. easily. Moral for me, India. Yeah. Yep. What are they going to make if they bat first? I, I was just thinking they could 700. Make... <laughs> <laughs> 700. <laughs> 700, that'd be awesome. That's like uh, the uh, cricket... Live 2005 on the PS2 vibe. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, if they bat first. I, I just think they win. I, I can't yep. see them not winning here. No. I mean, Paul Sterling at the top. He's, he, he's, he's fun to watch. He yeah. can whack it. Yep. He can whack mm. it. But, yeah, they're just going to be too good, India. Yeah, he's a stand and deliver type operator, Paul Sterling. He, he's going to mm. be hitting some bombs, the, I reckon. The highest score ever in 2020 cricket is 314. Boy, I don't think they're going to get that. But <laughs> Nepal who, who made that. Nepal against who? Against Mongolia. Oh, the powerhouse of Mongolia. Yep. They're unlucky to Mongolia. Really? And then, uh, when was that? Yeah, uh, last year. Oh, yeah, there you go. late last year. Right, Sunrises yeah. against uh, RCB. It was second. Was that two uh, in the IPL nine, this season? Two eighty seven. Two eighty seven. That's right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Up to the sunrises, even though we lost in the final. That's, an, <laughs> that's another uh, podcast for that one. All right. I think that's it. We've covered all of the next three games. We're going to be back with this on Thursday. So that will be before the Australia Oman game, which we might have to do something on Wednesday for that as well. So check around yep. the socials for that. That stumps for the Cricket Today Show. We'll be back with this on Thursday, as I just said. Get right around the show on all the socials. Send in any questions. And I think that's it. Thank you very much, Olivia and Joe behind the camera. Thanks, Tom, for jumping on. And uh, yeah, we'll see you throughout the tournament, I'm sure. No worries. See you Thursday. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, thanks, Marcus. Lovely. Well, Cheers, As always, uh, thanks to Gerald again for producing. Thanks to me. That's another episode of Cricket Today. Done. We're out. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.